Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna be covering a quick little git tip, which is how to check in a directory, but ignore all of its contents. Now, you might wanna do this uh, if you have like some output directory that you don't want to continually ensure that it's created, uh, or you know for other reasons. Git itself does not support having directories as part of its uh, values. All, all of the values in Git are files or file-like things like symlinks or submodules. Um, and yeah, there, there isn't a native way to support directories, uh, like there is in other version controls such as SVN. So let me just show you how I went about doing this for one of my projects. Now I've been using this trick in uh, a couple of places before. Let me just set up a directory here. Uh, we'll make a git directory. Now normally if I make there some directory here, so let's, uh, you know, the directory that I was using was a directory called local. You'll notice if I do git status here that nothing shows up for local, whereas like uh, if I touch, you know, local slash build output, uh, now suddenly this local directory will show up. Now what we don't want to do is check in this build output because it's, um, you know, it is a build output. You don't check build outputs into version control usually. Uh, and so what you can do here is, or what you would naively do is just git ignore the local directory like so, uh, but now it doesn't show up at all. So that's not what we want to do. But what we can do is we can put a git ignore inside the local directory, uh, local git ignore, and we can ignore star in here. Now, unfortunately, this makes it so that this git ignore file doesn't exist. So if we were to you know, go over here and git clone, um, explains to explains to, actually we need an initial commit. Uh, empty initial empty commit because otherwise it's not clonable. Uh, if we were to clone explains to explains two, and then look in here, you'll notice that there is no local directory. So we, we failed in our directory checking in thing. Um, now one thing you can do is you could use git add with force to local get ignore. Uh, although I wouldn't suggest that that you know that makes it really hard to edit this file because you'll notice if I. Uh, were to edit this file and add something to it. Oh, it does show up as edited. Force add local git ignore. Does it not show up if I edit it now? Oh, weird. Okay, I guess it does work. Uh, but this is not the, not the approach that I was suggesting. Uh, the approach that I would suggest, let's just get reset local uh, oh <laughs> yeah there we go there's there's where the, the ignore is not happening well uh how do i get rm <laughs> oh right reset would just change it from there uh, uh we'll just amend that out uh, <laughs> no we'll not we will go to the previous commands there we go Okay, so we still have this local directory. Uh, it still has this build output file in here. We want to check this directory in so that we can clone it. The way that we're going to do this is with a git ignore file that's going to git ignore everything, but we're going to use an exclusion rule to un git ignore the git ignore. <laughs> uh, so now if we look at git status and we add git, uh, we add the local directory to git, you'll see that we only check in the git ignore file and it works kind of as you would expect here. Uh, so you could reset it if you wanted, and that will unstage it. And we don't have the problem we had before. Uh, add local directory. So you'll notice that it didn't add the build output file there. We just added this git ignore. So now if we clone this directory, clone, clone, there we go. Oops, explains two. Uh, you'll see that we get this local directory created by default just when we clone this repository, and it doesn't contain any contents. Anyway, that's that's a little tip that uh, I picked up over the years and I've, I've used in a couple of my repositories. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if you want to see some other stuff, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.